Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have a quick tip today that Mark Johnson shared with me and Mark is the guy that created all of our Redshift material packs. So we're gonna show you how to make your own HDRI inside of Redshift today. And this is a great way to basically generate free HDRIs for yourself. You can get really creative as well. So we have a basic scene here and this is just a laboratory scene that I have in my download section for free. And we're gonna make an HDRI map out of this. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a camera. And under cameras, there are a bunch of different kinds and there's a spherical camera, we'll add that. And if we go inside of our spherical camera, you can see that this is how we're gonna generate our HDRI map. All right, so the camera is uh, not placed in the middle of the scene here. And we're gonna want it to be right in the middle of this sphere in the center of the scene. So we'll drag it inside this sphere and then go to Shift C so that you can search and type in reset PSR and hit enter. And that's gonna put the camera right in the middle of that sphere in the middle of the scene. So now we can drag it out and turn that sphere off. And now you can see that we have more of a standard HDRI map. Now the pixel mapping is the wrong size right now, so it's not gonna be a perfect sphere. So we have to address that. Let's go to our output settings here and let's scroll down maybe a preset for 4K. Now, the way that we have to do this is to have a two to one ratio so that it's a perfect spherical map. So we'll take this width and we'll paste it into the height. And now this is perfectly square. And then we just have to put the divide symbol and then divide by two. All right, so now we have a two to one ratio and now we're getting that perfect HDRI size. The last thing we have to do is go to the save and for format, we have to change this to an HDR. And that's gonna be a 32 bit per channel. It's gonna have a lot of information in the highlights and the shadows and you're gonna be able to light your scene really well. And then all I have to do is hit render, and I've already rendered this out. If we go to the picture viewer, you can see that now we have our HDRI map, and it's a great way to just, in a few clicks, take any scene that you have, throw out an HDRI map, and you can put that in your library and use it in the future. So let me just show you really quick. If you go to a new scene here, we can add a dome light, and I'll just go ahead and load that HDRI that we just made into the dome light. And now if we just look around our scene, you can see that we have that perfectly spherical HDRI map. Everything looks great. And it's a little bit dark, but we have all that information in the HDRI now, so we can play with the exposure and kick that way up and still retain a lot of that information to light our scene. And even if we drop it way down, we still have a lot of that information in the highlights. So it is a true HDRI, lots of dynamic range, and it's a great way to generate those for free. I hope you guys learned something new. And really quickly, I wanted to let you know that we just released the new Redshift Mutating Materials Pack, the Woods Edition. The world is full of incredible species and varieties of wood, and your job is to translate that real world into PhotoReal 3D. We've researched all the properties of dozens of woods and barks, and we've spent months building elaborate shader nodes so that you don't have to. All you have to do is grab the perfectly aged texture from mutating woods, hit render, and grab some coffee. Thanks for supporting our site, and we'll talk to you next time.